10 sights to see in Connecticut. Boasting everything from scenic shores and state parks to centuries-old historic sites and cultural landmarks, Connecticut is an oft-overlooked gem on the eastern seaboard. Besides its considerable natural beauty and picturesque beaches, it has a myriad of amazing museums, aquariums and even a couple of amusement parks. One of the original 13 colonies, a number of interesting old seaports and cities home to attractive historic houses are scattered about the small state. While most lie along the indented Long Island Sound, its capital Hartford can be found at the center of the Connecticut River Valley and Knowledge Corridor. Although most people head straight to its enticing coast, some pleasant state parks and award-winning wineries lie amidst its rolling hills and charming rural areas. With so many things to do in Connecticut, the Constitution State really does have something for everyone to enjoy. 10. Connecticut Wine Trail After so much sightseeing and so many outdoor activities, it is well worth taking a moment to relax, unwind and enjoy some wonderful wine. Scattered across the state are 25 wineries to try, all part of the Connecticut Wine Trail. As it is one of the fastest-growing wine regions in the states, award-winning vineyards are popping up all over the place. While the warmer climes of both the Connecticut River Valley and coast of the Long Island Sound are ideal for growing grapes, so too are the rugged Litchfield Hills. Its diverse geography and growing conditions mean that everything from Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon to Merlot, Pinot Gris and Riesling are produced in the state. At its wineries, you can take tours around the vineyards and production facilities before sitting and sampling some terrific wines in the tasting rooms and terraces. 9. Silver Sands State Park Home to lots of diverse landscapes and ecosystems is the stupendous Silver Sands State Park along the Long Island Sound. Part of the coastal city of Milford, it has myriad outdoor activities to try amidst its beautiful beaches and dunes, marshes and woods. A pristine spot, its soft sands, rolling dunes and seemingly endless boardwalk lie alongside the wild waters of the Atlantic. Aside from taking in all its divine scenery and exploring its picturesque woods and marshes, there are also plenty of birds and wildlife to spot. In addition to hiking in the park, you can top up your tan at the beach or swim and splash about in the sea. 8. Foxwoods Resort Casino If you're looking to game, have a great time and enjoy some exciting entertainment, then Foxwoods Resort Casino is the place to go. With seven casinos, countless restaurants and all kinds of thrilling live shows to choose from, guests will never exhaust all its enticing attractions. Owned and operated by the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Nation, it has expanded enormously since opening in 1992. Now one of the largest gaming resorts in the US, it includes not just upscale shops and restaurants but top-class spas, theaters and golf courses. While staying in its lavish hotels, Visitors can play games in its arcades, shoot along zip lines or race about go-kart tracks. The main reason many people visit though is for its numerous casinos, which have lots of table games and thousands of slot machines to play. 7. Roseland Cottage. Set in the center of Woodstock is the pretty pink Roseland Cottage. Surrounded by landscape gardens, the historic house museum and its gorgeous grounds offer up an interesting insight into the lives of America's upper crust in the mid-1800s. More a mansion than a cottage, the refined Gothic Revival building was formerly the summer home of businessman Henry Chandler Bowen and his large family. Besides the country's oldest surviving indoor bowling alley, it contains dozens of delightfully decorated rooms full of exquisite furnishings and artworks. Its twenty or so sprawling gardens are just as pleasant to stroll around as vast flowerbeds, trimmed hedges and immaculate lawns line its winding paths. 6. Gillette Castle Another incredible historic house to explore is the gigantic Gillette Castle that overlooks the Connecticut River in the south center of the state. Now the centerpiece of a state park, its unique architecture and interior make it well worth a visit with scenic gardens and woods lying all about it. Designed and built by the famous actor William Gillette between 1914 and 1919, it showcases some amazing medieval-style architecture. While its craggy castle-like exterior is already special to gaze upon, its imaginative interior is what really sets it apart. This is because its grand rooms are adorned with custom-built fittings and furniture with secret doors and passageways featured throughout. From the rest of the park, you can enjoy fine views of the mansion's stone tower and facade in the rushing river down below. As it combines art, architecture, history and nature, the castle is not to be missed with both Hartford and New Haven lying just under an hour away. 5. Hammonasset Beach State Park a popular and peaceful place to visit, Hammonasset Beach State Park lies along the sparkling Long Island Sound. 
Home to the state's largest beach, it has a wealth of outdoor activities to try with both locals and tourists flocking to its seaside in summer. Studded with seashells, its soft sands and dunes are a treat to wander around with salt marshes, tidal creeks and grassy knolls backing them. While many come to lounge on the pristine beach and swim in the sea, others prefer to hike and cycle with countless campsites being scattered about. The park also has some fabulous fishing and boating to enjoy while sweeping views over the ocean can be had from several viewpoints. 4. Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art Packed with impressive paintings, porcelains and sculptures, the Wadsworth Athenaeum Museum of Art can be found right in the center of Hartford. The oldest art museum in the country, its extensive collection has been wowing visitors ever since it first opened in 1842. Established by the affluent, art-interested Wadsworth family, its umpteen galleries occupy a striking castle-like building downtown. Alongside its four more modern wings, they contain about 50,000 artworks that span more than 5,000 years of art history. Alongside many masterpieces by Dali, Monet and Renoir, among other big names, are contemporary works by Andy Warhol and Jackson Pollock. Ancient Egyptian, Greek and Roman art pieces can also be spied next to some superb Hudson River School landscapes. 3. Lake Compounce Amusement Park The nation's oldest continuously operating amusement park, Lake Compounds marked another first for the United States. Since 1846, its rides and roller coasters have delighted guests with food stands, souvenir shops and the state's largest water park also on offer. Set just outside the small city of Bristol, its sprawling site lies alongside the lake of the same name, surrounded by lots of lush woods. As well as one of the oldest wooden roller coasters in the world, it has an ornately carved carousel, kiddie rides and cool live shows for families to enjoy. On top of trying out the thrilling thunder and lightning or death-defying drop zone, you can splash about in its wave pools and raft its rapids. Amusement park aficionados can also camp overnight or enjoy some of the seasonal events held at its gloriously green complex. 2. Submarine Force Museum Just up and across the Thames River from New London is the fantastic Submarine Force Museum. Home to the world's first nuclear submarine, it contains a staggering number of artifacts, exhibits and old equipment parts. Managed by the Naval History and Heritage Command Division of the Navy, its state-of-the-art facility first opened to the public in 1955. While the USS Nautilus launched that very same year, the sleek sub only ended up in the museum after it was eventually decommissioned in 1980. While exploring its interior is of course the museum's main attraction, interesting exhibits also look at the history and development of the silent service in the US. Artifacts, uniforms, photos and film clips all provide more information on the National Historic Landmark. 1. Mystic Seaport As it boasts a rich maritime history and heritage, the beautiful old Mystic Seaport is one of the most popular spots to visit in Connecticut. Lying along both banks of the river just inland from the ocean are plenty of centuries-old buildings and boats to check out. Once one of the nation's most important shipbuilding ports and whaling centers, the waterfront town is now largely preserved as part of a museum. Clustered along its sparkling harbor are not only lots of attractive historic buildings but an awesome aquarium and several splendid seafood restaurants. Aside from ambling about its recreation of a 19th-century seafaring village, visitors can watch live demonstrations and stop by a working shipyard.